Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen, if you're new. I create wellness and lifestyle content and today I wanted to do an Amazon favorites. I don't know that I've done one. I have my list and I broke it down into different sections. So I've got wellness and fitness, beauty, skincare, like tech stuff, um, fashion, and then book recommendations. Before we jump into things, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to like this video. It really helps out my channel a lot. And drop a comment of what else you guys want to see. So let's go ahead and get into the wellness and fitness favorites. So the first thing I want to talk about is my walking pad slash under the desk treadmill. I've had this for Oh my gosh, I got it in September of last year. So it's been like nine, 10 months since I've had it. I'm obsessed. This walking pad is super affordable. Now the one, the exact one that I have, you guys sold it out when I posted about it on TikTok. So the exact model that I have is out of stock and it's been out of stock. However, in my storefront, I do have the the comparable ones to it same price range great quality what i love about this walking pad is that it's so easy to like get out maneuver around and just pop it back up in the corner which there it is right there I definitely got my money's worth with this walking pad because i use it a few times a week and it still has held up really well it's really good quality so let's get into the details of this walking pad it was less than 200 dollars it came with a remote it goes up to the speed of 3.8 so that's not running like you can't jog on this and it doesn't incline but it is a brisk walk it also came with this little bottle of oil that you put under the uh belt of the walking pad so that it doesn't like make weird noises or like get dry and crusty and stuff like that so it has held up the oil that they sent with it has lasted me this whole time you really only need to do it like once a month and you don't need a ton of it loudness of the treadmill i know that's a question that i would get a lot when i posted about it on TikTok. if you're if you're going to be using it in an apartment where you have like people under you i think you should be fine it's not super loud and it's not like clunky or anything i will say if you're using it in a shared like workspace like say you and your husband share an office and you want to be on the treadmill while he's like doing a meeting probably wouldn't do that <laughs> um just because it does make beeping noises when you like press the remote and like go up and down in speed or turn it off and on it probably would be distracting so i would say using it in a shared space maybe not but like if you have someone that lives below you you should be fine the next piece of fitness equipment that i'm really excited about and i get a lot of use out of is this weighted vest uh this one is 12 pounds it feels a lot heavier than 12 pounds i don't know if i'm like weak <laughs> but this is a 12 pound weighted vest on the description on amazon it will tell you what weight you should get like based on like your your weight um because if you're like 100 pounds you probably don't want to get the 20 pound vest it's totally up to you but when you first get one i would go like on the lighter side because it feels like it's not that heavy and then you put it on and you start exercising or working out or going on a walk and you feel it the first time i wore this vest i just wore it on a walk and i was sore the next day so i could definitely feel the intensity i love this because this can make your exercises a little bit more intense if you're looking to up that intensity like maybe on your walks or your hikes or if you want to be super ambitious and crazy and wear this like on the stairmaster or something these are really good and it just i think it helps get your heart rate up because you are increasing the resistance um so yeah i love this one this one so it snaps in the front it does have a little like pocket mesh pocket here on the back if you wanted to like put something in there it came with a like phone holder or you could put your keys in there i just took it off because i don't use that but it's really good quality it's heavy it's sturdy and i get a lot of use out of this now let's get into my supplements that i get from amazon the first one being this ovarian care by the brand thorn this is an i always get it it's such a tongue twister for me to say this but it's an inositol blend so i'll have the benefits of inositol like listed on the screen here but i've been taking this for the past few months just to help with symptoms of pmdd um the week before my cycle and just to kind of help with hormonal acne as well 
the hormonal acne is gone okay that's all i'm gonna say it's gone and i'm so freaking grateful the week before my cycle is not absolutely insane like it was you know i was extremely irritable overly emotional just depressed and the week before my cycle was hell and it, it was affecting my life in a negative way and i had to get that under control i'm almost out of this one it says you can take it twice a day so really it's like a 30 day supply but i've only been taking it once a day and have been seeing really good results check out some of my other videos where i have talked more in depth about my hormone balancing drink which i include this in um i think i've posted maybe like two videos about it which they're not that far down from me so check those out if you want to know more about that journey this is just a little bit pricey i think it's like 56 dollars but for me the results are worth it i mean the hormonal acne alone disappearing like that's worth the money to me next up is the cleaner this is something i take after every single vacation it's the ultimate body detox it helps remove waste pounds um and it is good for your colon liver skin urinary kidneys all that stuff this might be tmi but whenever i go on vacation or like i'm not staying at my own house for more than like two three days my body gets backed up like i literally cannot poop at hotel bathrooms i just i can't do it i don't know like it, it, my body just knows it's not at its normal location and it just won't go like i cannot go so recently we went on vacation and i was like i need to get the cleaner as soon as i get home just to help like flush everything out because other than vacation time like i'm very regular so to not be regular like that is so uncomfortable for me this takes care of that okay this is seven day formula they do have a 14 day one i never really go to the full seven days usually by day like four or five i'm feeling pretty good i don't feel like i need to take any more now if you have a hard time swallowing pills these capsules are a pretty decent size um let me show you how big they are this is how big these are and you have to take four of them i know you got to take four and then you have to drink a ton of water while you're doing this to be able to flush everything out eat healthy foods fruits vegetables all that stuff you don't want to be eating like taco bell and chick-fil-a and stuff you want to eat healthy so that i can move everything <laughs> out of your system this works i'm t i'm literally taking it right now like i've been taking it i'm on day three it's working and i feel so much better i feel lighter i don't feel backed up and i feel like i'm back on track first thing i have to share is this brand anua this is a korean skincare brand i have their heart leaf for control cleansing oil and then i also have the heart leaf soothing toner here's what they look like i've been using these probably the last like five months ish this one has lasted a long time i have like a little bit less than half left the toner i still have quite a bit left this a little bit goes a long way i'm really getting into korean skin i'm really getting into korean skincare and i just felt like korean skincare is elite like it's top notch like they have the skincare industry on lock and so i like to use this cleansing oil um when i double cleanse i've noticed that that has made a huge difference in my skin and like breakouts and stuff too so i'll use a cleansing oil first to remove like sunscreen remove makeup get all the gunk and impurities out um and get like you know stuff out of my pores and whatnot and then i'll go in with a second cleanser so double cleansing has made all the difference for me and then I incorporate this toner into my skincare routine as well, which I believe I've posted my skincare routine a few times. So these are both really great products. I have them, um, like I said, everything's going to be linked in my storefront. But you have to be careful with ordering skincare on Amazon because there's a lot of like fraudulent like stores out there so you want to make sure you're ordering from the correct store so that you get the actual real deal product and not like a fake product okay next up is a body care product this is actually a men's trimmer but i use it for down there it gets you such a close shave like probably as close to waxing as you can get without waxing and so it looks like this the blade is it's a decent blade like it really gets in there um and i like the color too 
this came with i think it came with a replacement blade too it's around like maybe 30 dollars when i'm i'm telling you the shave you get is so close and it makes sense because men are like supposed to use this on their face and it helps like not have breakouts or get you know those like little bumps and stuff they get if they um get razor burn or whatever I'm telling you this shaver or this trimmer this is the only thing i've been using i stopped getting waxes um probably last year yeah i stopped getting waxes last year one because i remember okay remember i wasn't working and i didn't want to keep paying 70 dollars a month for waxes and i'm like first of all ain't nobody down there <laughs> but me like nobody's down there to see anything anyway so i'm like i can just trim it and like make it you know look presentable enough but i'm like i don't need the whole waxing shebang but then i found this and i was like okay this is great uh, this is something that i can rock with and it's better than shaving for me like shaving with the like the razor and the shaving cream razor bump galore I, my skin is so sensitive and this is good for my sensitive skin the last last but not least i have my clip-ins i love these clip-ins these are better than some of the more expensive brands that i've seen from hair companies um i'll include pictures of course right here because i don't have them in right now they are there are they straight clip-ins yeah these are straight clip-ins i don't have the clip-ins in right now so i'll include pictures up when i have them in but when i tell you this quality is so good i've had these clip-ins for over a year i've worn them multiple times i've washed them blow dried them even like trimmed them up a little bit they just blend with my hair texture so well and they don't tangle it's not a ton of shedding they don't pull my hair out like at the root or anything like that hands down my favorite pair of clip-ins i've ever bought i had another pair that i got from a brand that um is pretty popular but those clip-ins to me were not better than these amazon clip-ins so of course i've got the pictures here i'll include all the details but if you're looking for some quality hair clip-in hair extensions try this one out they come in a ton of lengths i believe i got 20 or 22 inches 22 inches felt really long i probably would not get that long again but they're full i ordered two packs so i didn't need like three or four packs of hair i didn't need like a ton of hair um i don't even use the full two packs when i put them in and i have thick hair and i have a lot of hair if you have thick hair or you have coarse hair or hair that you just want you want your hair to look full these are a really great option i'm gonna order me <laughs> low-key i want to order me some backup clip-ins because i've had this for over a year and i think i want to try their body wave just to see if i like it but the straight ones chef's kiss next we're gonna get into i'm calling this tech stuff but i don't even know if that really is what it means um <laughs> the first thing is this tripod phone stand it looks like this i use this when i film my tiktok videos like my sit down tiktoks where i'm like doing my makeup or my skincare or my hair i set this on my vanity and i like that this is flat because the other tripods that are like actual tripods, the legs get in the way of everything. And when I have this, it's flat, it's not in the way. I can like sit stuff on top of this. It clips your phone in here. Um, <coughs> it clips your phone in here like this. And you can also make it taller. So this is as tall as it gets. And then you can make it shorter too and adjust it so this is great if you're like wanting to film content and hold your phone up like to me it holds my phone at the perfect height like eye level when it's sitting on my desk so that it looks really natural and i can get like really good lighting when i have my phone propped up at that height so love this i think it's like 11 dollars, maybe less <laughs> maybe it's 10 i don't know but it's really affordable and it's sturdy good quality and i think it's a must to have something like this if you're a content creator too feel like i've shown this bluetooth speaker before but i'm gonna show it again because i love it it was such a good buy it's so freaking cute this is a bluetooth speaker that looks like a record player and it's also um it has aromatherapy in it so you open up if i can do it yeah you open this up and then there's the little like scent the little scent disc in the middle and when you turn it on and you're playing it and it spins the scent comes out of right here 
this is the cutest thing ever the sound quality is really good as well i was thinking that it wasn't going to be super loud but it is it does get pretty loud i probably wouldn't take it to the pool or anything but like just in your house um i can like have it in this room and be in my kitchen right right across and still hear it just as loud um and i just think it's so cute the scents that come with it it's like a freesia scent disc you can buy other scents um separately but it does come with some so i haven't bought any extra ones just because i like this one but you can buy additional scents if you don't like this one or you want to switch it up now let's get into like fashion things you can wear and whatnot blue light glasses if you're someone who stares at your phone all day like if you're a content creator or you work from your phone or you're on a computer all day protect your eyes so these are my most recent pickups for blue light glasses i just think the frames are so cute and different and then i also have these which i wear literally all the time these are i've had these for a while these are so cute and they're really affordable i think these are like 15 dollars maybe i mean and you could just wear these if you just wanted to put them as part of your outfit to like be cute and fashionable like these are these are really cute <laughs> I think these are adorable so I wear these at work I keep them in my work bag and then this pair I think this is my my favorite I just really like the print and I like the shape of them like these I just love how they look on my face so I um this pair this pair actually came with a set I think it came with a clear pair and a black pair but I don't know where the other two are <laughs> these are the only ones that I wear um honestly you could wear these like just for fashion like I said but these are really good blue light glasses um and I wear contacts but sometimes I want to wear glasses because I like the look so that's where the blue light glasses come in and I just look it's giving it's giving intelligent it's giving she knows what she's talking about if you guys have been around for a while you know i love a good lounge set i love pajamas i love lingerie which is crazy because i sleep in the nude but when i'm not in my bed i need to walk around and stuff i want to look cute doing it so i have a couple of sets of pajamas that are my favorites oh amazon to me has some of the best like loungewear and cute feminine dresses the first is this one i'll insert like clips of me wearing it this is just a little sleep dress and it has this cute like lace trim slits on the side ah and it has black hearts this is so freaking cute i just love being cute at home wearing cute feminine pieces even though there's nobody here but me to see it i don't care i want to look cute for me and i have so much pink it's ridiculous the next thing i have is pink too but this is a shorts set this one comes with a cute little top the straps are like all weird um so it comes with this cute little top lacy and has an adorable little bow right here and these are the shorts that come with it they've got a lace trim and they have a little like split on the thigh as well get you some cute pajamas girl okay and if you have a man and you want to feel cute at home i don't know if men appreciate things like this but you will feel cute wearing it so then i think he'll like that you feel cute <laughs> but it doesn't matter man no man woman no woman girlfriend or not boyfriend or not whatever look cute for yourself amazon has the pieces um i think that's it Oh, last but not least, let's get into book recommendations. I've been trying to get better at reading because I always set the goal for myself to read like a certain amount of books per year and then I never do it. I, I, I say it all the time. I'm like, I'm going to read a book a month. I'm going to read 20 books this year. Girl, them books don't be getting read. I do buy them, but I don't read them. However, I found an author that I really enjoy her writing and her stories and it makes reading really enjoyable and that's Kennedy Ryan I'm sure you guys have heard of her her books are all over the place they're super popular but for good reason because these are really 
good books. I just love the writing in them. So this is the first book in this series. I don't remember what this series is called. I'll have to look it up. But the first book in this series is called Before I Let Go. This one is really good. I love the cover art. Like, that is so pretty. The cover art is beautiful. The second book um, in this in this series, because there's going to be three, it's about a group of friends. So it's a group of three friends. So each friend is getting their own book. The second book is called This Could Be Us. I'm reading this one right now. I'm almost done. As you can see, I have that much left. It's taken me a long time to read both of these, but I still really enjoy them. I'm trying to be more mindful about setting aside time to read each night because um, it really should not take me two months to read a book. But... I get distracted but this one is really good this one had me hooked like on the first two pages that is rare for me I'm like normally I'm like okay I'll give the first chapter try if it's not entertaining I'll keep going but if a book grabs my attention on the first few pages I already know I already know so check out um check out these books if you're looking for a good book to read and you haven't read either of these yet definitely check them out Okay, I wasn't going to include these books, but you can get them on Amazon. The books by Eric Jerome Diggy. These are like, he's my favorite author. Now he did pass away a few years ago. It has been, I think. It's been a few years. But his books are still available on Amazon. The little small books <laughs> look like this. These are some of the first books I read by him. And I have read almost all of them. They are so good it's it's kind of they kind of give me the feeling of nostalgia like it's giving black love in the 90s vibes because that's when these books were written i believe so i just feel like i'm taking a step back in time reading these and like hearing like the way his writing was it was very reminiscent of the times and it just is very nostalgic to me because i'm like dang i wish i was an adult like in the 90s but his books are so good um I've read I've read these multiple times but he's my all-time favorite author so if you haven't checked out any of his books grab some they're like seven dollars so totally worth it don't forget your public library is also an option too I told myself I was gonna go to the library more but I owe them money so I haven't been going <laughs> I've been avoid the library because I had some overdue books I think I owe them like six dollars so whatever but yes that is it for my amazon favorites things i've been loving over the past few months to a year um surprisingly enough i'm not like an amazon addict at one point i was but i've really slowed down on buying things from amazon every other day yeah, these are the things i'm really enjoying right now and i've gotten a lot of use out of so everything is linked in my storefront um i think what I'll do is I'll make a storefront list with all of these items in it so that you guys can just go straight to that instead of like clicking around to the different lists that I have. So I'll make a um, page on my storefront for my favorites. That way you guys can check that out. And if you guys do get anything, let me know or let me know what are some of your Amazon favorites because I'm always looking to try new things um, because who doesn't like shopping, right? But yeah, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and I will see you guys next time.